Okay, welcome back and thanks for watching. And uh, today we're going to talk about tools. So first off, uh, after I uh, posted uh, my first two videos on guitar making, I decided to uh, look and see what other videos are uh, out there on guitar making. The first one I watched, uh, the guy says he's going to show you how to make a guitar. And his first video was on tools. So he immediately he goes to a bandsaw. Says you need a bandsaw, 150 bucks. Then he goes over to a drum sander. Like this is a huge unit, and you, you don't need it. You don't need a bandsaw. What I'm going to try and teach you is how to build a guitar. And will you show my bandsaw for? Me? Yes, I have a bandsaw after 10 years. So uh, what I'm going to try and do is show you how to build a guitar with all hand tools. Uh, if you have power tools, you can save your time and use those if you want. But uh, it's possible to build a guitar with hand tools. So what I got here is basically the basic kind of stuff you're going to need. Um, I bought tools as I needed them to alleviate the financial burden. And uh, one of the first things I bought was a block plane. This is a pretty handy plane. You can use it for uh, a lot of things. If you're going to build acoustic guitars, you're going to probably want to get a, uh, a bigger plane, a number five or number six, uh, for the top and back and the sides and stuff. But there's a lot of smaller planes you can get. These are very handy to have. Uh, this is for contours if you're doing a uh, semi-acoustic or a violin, something like that. Then you're going to need a couple files. A regular flat file is a good one. A rasp, and this is a rounded and a flat rasp, and then a round file. Rulers, always need a few rulers, different lengths are handy to have. This is probably the tool I use most of all. Um, small files, these packages of files are pretty cheap, this is like six bucks. Um, and chisels, I have just a couple flat chisels. They're rounded chisels and gouges, which I don't like using, so I avoid them. Now, as well as planes, these are called scraper planes, and they work really well just to get things smoothed out, or you can contour a little bit with them. And there's lots of different sizes and shapes, and again, they're very handy at different times. Saws, you need one, maybe two saws, and eventually you're going to need a fret saw. But uh, that's pretty basic. You probably have a saw around the house somewhere. Clamps. Clamps can be expensive, but hardware stores often have sales on clamps, and that's when I go out and pick up extra clamps. This is a specific clamp for uh, bridge. So if you're building acoustic guitars, again, you're probably going to need at least two of these. Ibex, uh, Ibex makes these. And they're a little expensive, about 20 bucks each, but not, not too bad. And then. You're always going to use your standard tools, which you probably have some of those laying on hammer screwdrivers. Eventually, we're going to need to use a drill. You're going to want to make uh, holes for your tuning pegs at some point. Um, you want to get them as straight as possible, although the tuners are designed so that, that there's some flexibility. So if the holes aren't perfect, you're probably all right. You can use a hand drill, an electric hand drill, or a regular hand drill, or you can use a drill press. So again, we're going to try and keep it down the price on building a guitar because half the price is probably tools and, and other things like that. And in the end, eventually, if you're building an electric guitar, you're going to need a meter of some sort just for continuity so it doesn't have to be too fancy. Uh, soldering iron. Wire strippers and uh, side cutters. So that's just the sort of the basic tools you can get by with uh, most of this. You need a few more clamps than I have here, but uh, that's uh, a good start.